A Remainer plot to topple Boris Johnson could drag the Queen into politics. Can the Queen sack the Prime Minister? Queen Elizabeth II oversees the coming and goings of British Prime Ministers. While the monarch maintains a constitutional role, Brexit threatens to drag the Queen into Westminster politics when MPs return from summer recess. Jeremy Corbyn's camp have said the Labour leader will force the Queen to sack Boris Johnson if he refuses to resign after losing a no-confidence vote, but can the Queen fire Prime Ministers? Mr Corbyn's right-hand man Shadow Secretary John McDonnell issued a shock statement regarding the Queen yesterday. In reaction to the news that Boris Johnson would not be legally obliged to resign if he lost a no-confidence vote. Mr. McDonnell claimed Mr. Corbyn would force the Queen's hand on the matter. Mr. McDonnell said, No Prime Minister can sustain themselves in office when they no longer have a majority in the House of Commons. Mr. McDonnell continued, I don't want to drag the Queen into this, but I'd be sending Jeremy Corbyn in a cab to Buckingham Palace to say we're taking over. Following a vote of no confidence MPs have two weeks to form a new government. An outgoing Prime Minister must formally hand in his resignation to the Queen before leaving office and must also recommend a successor, but does the Queen have the power to sack a Prime Minister herself? Can the Queen sack the Prime Minister? The Queen maintains a special relationship with the Prime Minister and has regular meeting with the leader during their time in government. Following an election, it is the Queen who officially appoints the new Prime Minister, with the guidance of constitutional conventions. In appointing a new Prime Minister the Queen's main requirement is to find someone who can command the confidence of the House of Commons. While this is usually the leader of the party with an overall majority of seats in the Commons, in exceptional circumstances the Queen can exercise her own discretion. If Boris Johnson did refuse to resign following a lost vote of no confidence, something his camp maintains is highly unlikely. The Queen could force his dismissal in order to ensure the continuation of government. Boris Johnson is the Queen's 14th Prime Minister. During Her Majesty's 66-year reign she has never had to sack a Prime Minister who refused to resign after a vote of no confidence. Claims Mr Johnson could refuse to resign after losing a vote of no confidence has prompted outrage from Remainers. There are fears the Queen could be dragged into politics if a no-confidence vote triggers a constitutional crisis. As the head of state, Her Majesty is meant to remain strictly neutral on political matters but she has a crucial ceremonial role when it comes to forming new governments, 